Hey, how you doing? Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how it is that I take something in polar trigonometric form and turn it into complex form. Uh, very simple. Again, you have to know your formulas. So trigonometric polar form is R times the quantity of cosine theta plus I sine theta, or for shortcut, it is R CIS theta. And I'm going to turn that into the complex number form, which is X plus YI. So what I got here is, first things first, I've got 4 CIS 150, and the very first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to turn it back into this form. So what I got here is my 4, which is my R, so it's my multiplier. So 4 times cosine, same theta, they're going to be the same, so 150 degrees, so plus I sine 150 degrees. And this one is much simpler because this all just bases off of do you know your reference angles, do you know how to calculate, do you know how to use your calculator. Um, I chose to use cosine of 150 because I like to make sure that people are remembering their values all year long, so I like to give them exact values. So this one here, its reference angle is 30 degrees, so when is, what's the value of cosine of 30 degrees and cosine of 30 degrees? happens to be one, or root 3 over 2, so this is going to be negative root 3 over 2 because 150 degrees is in the second quadrant. Okay, so the quadrants do matter for your signs of these things. Plus, so I'm leaving it plus because I know that I'm in the second quadrant. I know y is positive, so the sine of 150 degrees is going to be 1 half, so this is 1 half i. Okay, the i stays with it, and I have a 4 on the outside. So to complete this off, because every value in a complex form has to be x plus yi, I can't have any multiplication here, I must distribute the 4 through. When you distribute the 4 through, you get negative 2 root 3 plus 2i. And then your final answer okay, is in the form of x plus yi. And that's how you take something out of trigonometric polar form and you put it in the complex form. Much simpler. And... Um, Say this wasn't a value that you knew exactly. I, you just type in your calculator, multiply it by 4, and you can estimate your decimal value there. Uh, so uh, I hope that helps with uh, any type of homework problem you're doing. And if uh, not, leave a comment. Let me know how it goes. All right.